A former prisoner of war has been telling British forces news about being held captive by the Japanese for four years. Sid Tavender, who's 93 tomorrow, weighed little more than five stone when he was released, having endured hard labour on the notorious death railway linking Thailand to Burma. Yesterday, he attended the VJ Day commemorations at the National Arboretum in Staffordshire. Victoria Smith has been to meet him. It's a story Sid Tavender hasn't even told his children. The truth behind the harrowing years between 1942 and 1945 when he was captured and forced to labour on the notorious Death Railway linking Thailand to Burma. Yesterday, he and other POWs watched the VJ Day services across the country. For Sid, it's an annual reminder of the horrors he endured. He was captured in what was then Malaya while serving with the Gurkhas. Work on the railway was interspersed with burying the thousands that died along the way. He'd line up behind the dead. One, he would get hold of his feet, and one would get hold of his arms, and you'd start a swinging motion. And when you got the swing going enough, you'd go into the fire. The most horrible thing about it, about three minutes afterwards, that body rises and looks at you. 65 years later, he still has nightmares about the things he witnessed. See, when they used to behead the, the Japs would line all the, the people up, because there were also uh, some rubber planters and things like that that spoke the language is fluent. They tried to escape, but the natives gave them away. They were caught, brought back, and the whole of everybody would be paraded, and they'd be brought out, and the heads would be cut off in front of us. Of the 6,000 in the Japanese labour camps, only 127 are thought to have survived. Sid was close to death when he was finally rescued on the 11th of August, 1945. When they, they got me, I was so weak that they I had a stretcher and they put some padding on it. Then they put a, some padding on top of me and then another stretcher and bound the two of them up in case we broke his spine. I was only about five stone two. He's now chairman of St Dunstan's Prisoners of War, a charity he became involved in when he partially lost his sight eight years ago. Victoria Smith, Forces News.